dogs, you always want to keep that, that shotgun pointed up in the air. Um, you're going to have a dog handler, a safety officer, and yourself out there in the field. And we're going to plant the birds. If it all goes well, the, 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 dog, the dogs like humans make mistakes. So if the dog flushes the bird ahead of time, if you get a shot, you get a shot. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Um, we're dealing with dogs. You know, some people have older dogs, some people have some younger dogs out here. So there's dogs that are at all levels. A life, a dog's life, a major injury for a, a little bird. Okay? Safety, safety is the biggest thing, guys. Um, Always think before before that bird flushes things. Where is everybody at? Okay, where where is my safety officer? Where is the dog handler? And keep that in mind as you're you know that bird flushes and you're swinging your gun one way or the next. So if it's bird hunting, they're going to give you a bird load. If it's trap, they'll give you a trap load. When you leave that area, do not take any ammunition with you. That keeps everybody safe. If the gun doesn't feel right or it's not working for you, we have loaners that Steel we can deal load. season. I already talked to four other deer hunters up here. So keep in mind, guys, they know that we're down here. They're up and around here. So that's another reason why I don't want anybody to be venturing off, going anywhere else. There's deer hunters up there. Actually, there's a pretty good-sized group up here, deer hunters. So keep that in mind, too, all right? And one of the biggest things here is that we... And um, how many boxes have you gone through? This is the third box. Wow. That's right. All right. Beautiful. Okay, we'll let Sarah get ready. So now you're number one. One, two, three. Nice shot. Wow. No bird's going to escape these girls. No, this is, this is an assassin. Deal here. Yeah. Okay, so we're back to Kim first, right? Catching you live. Oh my gosh. Live at the uh, oh, don't catch me dropping the, the major yeah, grill section. This man knows what he's doing when it comes to to burning bread for a living. Moving right on to the meat and potato group. As you can see they're tossing their meat from left to right. Smile when you say that. Yeah. And then <laughs> smile of course when you say that. 
<laughs> you look at Art. Art is still selling tickets while he's busy. Whoa! Get something. Yes, we did. Is this video? Yeah, this is the real video. Fantastic. We're just we just won't be speaking on it, but but the idea is in case we want to laugh about it later. You know, this will when we watch this tonight. You know, we'll. Uh, we can show you some action video when we um, field dress them. There that's it. Go. That's it. You know, and you got a professional right here. That's right. To get it it's done. called the Stacy Undresser. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Very nice pose. I like that. Just get ready. No, no, you watch this way. Ready? There we go. There we go. Go for it. Good shot. Nice. Crack it open. There you go. Good job, guys. Nice. That was really safe. Very nice. That got right on him. Boop. Now that looks kind of disgusting. Tell us a little bit about the excitement today. I think it turned out a beautiful day. Everybody was very safety conscious. Uh, the kids were not even willing to take the shot if there was any chance that it could cause danger to anybody else. Uh, safety was first today, and that was wonderful. Excellent. Yeah. Good, good. And did you bring back any birds? Uh, three. Three? Yeah. So that's why Don didn't yeah. get any. There's all those birds. Yeah. Were shot. I would like to thank uh, Santa Maria uh, Gun Club for letting us uh, come out here and do this. Did you feel it was a safe group? Yeah, I did. I felt like it was very safe. Probably one of the funnest ones I've been on. Excellent. Good. Could you tell a friend on this? Would this be something you'd be able to tell a friend about? Yes, I would be able to. Good. Well, be sure to pass that on. I'm sure it'll help the group on. Will do. Thank you. Was it a good? It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun? Yes, sir. Good. We'll be back. Good. And you were the first two, one of the first two to go out. First group. Yeah. Yeah, I remember capturing some of that as you were going from behind. Go ahead, you jump in. Yeah, but otherwise, it was a safe trip for you and a safe time? Yes. Good. Absolutely. Great. Would you be back next year? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, good. Well, then we got a spot for you. All right. We hope you win Thanks. anything you want to say about this wonderful trip today. Had and a great time. Good. Did you feel it was a safe time? Absolutely. Good. And how about the people that you work with? Were they uh, good to work with, like this gentleman behind you? Absolutely. Yeah, they were great. He was great. That's what, that's what it's, all great. Good. it's all good. It's all good. Excellent. Four birds and I'm happy. Well, that's it. Four birds and uh, <laughs> you had the uh, 22s, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that was your section. So did the kids look like they were doing pretty well in that area? Good scores. Good. I saw that little really bell bouncing. The, the the dong was going off quite a yeah. bit. They did not quite well. Good. Well, that's what made it nice because it was safe. I think that's what the big the big picture was back here. A big thank you to the Porter family for their. Hospitality out here too. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, tell us. It was a wonderful time. We had a great experience. Good. You didn't have to babysit your kids, so no, that was nice. They're all doing their own thing. And it's That's all right. Good. All grown up and working hard. That's right. Good. And uh, do you know anybody else here? I do. Here's my friend Tina. Oh look, Tina. <laughs> a fellow mother trucker here. That's, That's, right. Our That's right. A mother trucker trip out here. That's in right. That's right. But it was a great time. Weather's always good. Dog handlers are really nice. Dogs are adorable. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and tired. And tired now. Tired. Yes, and hungry. That's right. And uh, we love all the people that come out and volunteer. Especially the ones that are up there on the clay pigeon section. Right. Oh, look who's here. Live from New York. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tell us a little about what the excitement was like up there. Well, it was very exciting, of course. The uh, kids all treated you like a human being, and you... Well, they had to. There I, you go. I you had their clay pigeon future exactly. in my hand. That's right. If they didn't 
they didn't behave. There was no pigeons to be had. To be honest with you, what I will tell you about all the kids is how amazingly polite they all were. It was, it was funny how these young people are coming up there and how, thank you, sir, you know, yeah. which, I mean, trust me, I never get called that. Um, <laughs> And that, that was the one thing that really struck me. The kids were just super appreciative and just super polite, and it was a lot of fun. That's a good thing to hear. Really good thing to hear. And thanks for your, all your help up there and the safety. So you can together say... We had a great time. Yeah, thanks. Great, great. Thanks. And we'll see you all next year? Yes. Uh, my driver? You bet. All right. This is live from Santa Maria at the Porter. Caleb, so what did you think of the hunt? Give us a couple of words for the uh, crowds out there. It was fun. For was the second it? Time. Yeah. Was it difficult? This time, yes. Really? Huh? Was the heat a bother something for you? No. How about the size of the birds? Are you looking for your first pheasant hunt sometime? Yes. November All right. 3rd. Is there a, a big thank you for those guys that kept it safe? Thank you. Very good. Why don't you go over there and shake that man's hand? Right. <laughs> How about a fellow hunter? How about shaking a fellow hunter's hand? Good job. All right, and off they go into the sunset. There you go.